St. Lucia is one of four countries implementing the Tourism Health Program devised by the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CARFO. The Tourism Health Program, officially launched in St. Lucia on the 19th of September 2021, aims to improve the region's health, safety and security of visitors and residents alike. The program's overall objective is to bolster the island's capacity to respond to public health threats, improve the health, safety and security of locals and visitors, and to build tourism resilience, reputation and economic sustainability. The Caribbean Public Health Agency's Director of Surveillance, Disease Prevention and Control, Dr. Lisa Inda, speaking at the official launch of the program in St. Lucia, explained that the Tourism Health Program, THP, consists of several tools that will not only ensure travelers of a safe and healthy destination, but reinforce travelers' confidence in the Caribbean region. These tools include the Caribbean Travelers' Health Assurance Stamp, the Tourism and Health Information System, this, the Caribbean Travelers Health Mobile App, Regional Guidelines for Response to Travelers' Illness in Hotels and Ships, Capacity Building and Certification, Advanced Food Safety and Sanitation Standards, and Multi-Sector, Multi-Agency Partnerships for Response. When COVID came, we wanted to adapt to COVID and to make sure it's relevant because the key in all of this is to ensure health and safety to build travelers' confidence. If I'm a traveler and I want to travel during COVID, I want to be sure the place where I'm going is safe and that they have measures in place. So we, we develop these different guidelines, guidelines for the food and beverage industry, hoteliers, travelers, ships, resuming travel, the travel bubble. And just last week, um, the, the, tra the in the guidelines for the ships was, you know, endorsed by CARICOM, it was sent out. And even at the heads of government meeting, they spoke about harmonized measures for, for, for cruise ships. Most Caribbean countries depend primarily on the tourism sector as their main revenue earner. It is therefore paramount that they are able to effectively respond to the various shocks which may occur and negatively impact the sector, such as the COVID-19 pandemic. Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs Honorable Moses Jabatiste expressed his excitement at the launch of the program, adding that it will serve as an additional tool in combating the COVID-19 pandemic and any future health threats to come. The minister pledging his support to the Tourism Health Program asserted that all entities have an important role to play to ensure its success. The COVID-19 pandemic has demanded that we embrace this multi-sectoral approach, and this program is one such example. This will allow us to adequately train, set standards, and implement policy, facilitate the building of productive partnerships, focus on maintaining the health and safety of all patrons, and ensuring visitor confidence in our beautiful island. This program will not only help strengthen our national health security, but also the regional health security. As we continue to work towards a return to normalcy, I want to take this opportunity to implore all to please get vaccinated, follow the protocols, so that we can return to a more normal state of operations. Discussions between CAFA and the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States began in 2017 and set the pace for the THP. Director of the OECS, His Excellency Dr. Didicus Jules, Throwing his support behind the program, noted that the support has been formalized by the OECS with the signing of a letter of agreement with CAFA on the 17th of September 2021. The nature of the times in which we find ourselves now require multi-sectoral collaboration. Health cannot do its thing in its own bucket, in its own silo, neither can tourism, neither can the government address and solve these problems by itself. It requires also the private sector. It requires persons in the industry, workers at all levels. I think if there's any lesson from this pandemic is that everyone has a responsibility to play their part in order to ensure that the chain of safety is unbroken. The pandemic has heightened the critical importance of this program and we commend St. Lucia, Mr. Minister, for being the first OECS country to fully commit to the implementation of this program. The Tourism Health Program was launched under the Regional Tourism Health Policy Framework 
which was established in 2014, under the guidance of the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CARFA, the Caribbean Tourism Organization, CTO, and the Caribbean Hospitality and Tourism Association, CHTA. As part of its mandate, the policy aims to ensure an enabling environment for optimal implementation of the Tourism Health Program, THP, which sets the precedence for a healthier, safer tourism industry. From the Government Information Service, I am Janelle Norville.